Here we are. I want to make sure that I'm not yelling. So just let me know if I'm yelling, please. How's everyone? Let me see. I'm trying to wait for people to come in. Hi guys. I'm trying to see if I can um, make sure that I can see your messages. Okay. How's everyone? Good? Let me see. I'm trying to figure the, the messages here. I want to see what you guys are saying. Okay, I'm going to give it a, a couple of minutes to make sure that everybody comes on so nobody misses anything. Okay, let's wait for a couple of uh, more people to come in because I don't want them to miss anything. Okay, so I'm excited. I'm really excited to do this today. Um, first of all, because it is the first time that I go live for a brand. So, and who else for? Lust! Um, for a long time, I've been talking about Lust, and it's because it's an amazing product. Not because I use it, not because um, the owner is amazing. Their customer service is extremely amazing. Um, their shipping is extremely fast, which we always have a question. Oh my God, I just ordered this. When am I going to get it? A week later, dated. Stop. Sorry, that's what happens when you're live. Um, so like I was saying, shipping is extremely fast. Um, I started using Lust a while ago and what Jaden and one of the things that one of the things that I loved about it is the fact that it's just one bottle. And especially when you're traveling, um, one of the things that I used to hate was to grab one bottle for this, one bottle for that. You know, you want your leaving, you want your, your styler, and usually for your styler, you have to have like your cream and you have to have your gel, and after that, you have to have your oil. With this, this is all you need. Just this bottle right here. Um, to wash, my hair, I use the conditioner and the, the shampoo, which are step one. Here we go. Step one, and then you have step two, and you have step three. For step three, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, for those that are, have never used Lust, um, you have three different, um, you have for the curly, you have for the wavy, and you have for the kinky coily. I personally used the curly, and I've used the kinky coily, because one time I ordered it by mistake and I was like, oh my God, what did I do? But you know what? It worked. The only thing I did is that I had to water it down a little bit and it worked the same as it was the curly one. Um, I have not used the wavy, so I'm not sure. Um, I have friends that have because now that I use Lust, I've converted a whole bunch of my friends to Lust and they love it. So um, let me see if I can see a couple of your comments here to make sure that I can just answer a few of your questions really quick. Um, hold on, because this right here is not cooperating for me. All right, so for now, I can't see them. So let's do something. I will tell you as much as I can. Um, when it comes to the actual product, one of the things that caught my attention when I used it the first time is that when you use it, it doesn't leave your hair sticky. I know I've had other products that I've used that once my hair is dry, you try to put your hand or rake your, your hair, like your hair through with your fingers, and you get stuck. You feel that stickiness. It's like a glue. You don't have that with lust. And that's one of the things that I really liked about it. The fact that even on second day, third day, fourth day, I can just comb my hair through it and just spray it with water, and then put a little bit of this and that's it. You can go about your day and it looks like it was the first day. That's the first thing that actually 
made me turn into lust because of that. I hate having that sticky hair. I hate trying to redo my hair and you can't even put your brush through it because it's so stuck and glued and it's like there's so much gel or hairspray to it. That I, no, that's, I'm very simple and when you talk about simplicity, lust is simplicity. All right, so let's get started. Um, I have, if you guys see, red, red, red hair. And I noticed that before, other products would leave my hair hard. And I'm not, I don't mean like the sticky part. I mean like the, the actual hair really hard and I don't like that. So that's one of the things that I love about Lust. Let's, one of the things that I do before I even start doing my hair, I section it. I do it in like in two sections. So let's do this for now. And I'm gonna show you what I do, okay? Do I look funny? I just spray water, simple water, that's it. Water and then I put the product. This is how I start. I wanna make sure that my hair is extremely wet because one of the things that, I don't know if you guys noticed, when you do your hair and your hair is, you know how I just took it out of the towel and your hair is already starting to dry and it's, it separates the hair strand and it's all like this. And you start putting your products on like that, it's, you're not gonna get a good result. That's one of the things, you're not gonna get a good result. Because what happens is that you're putting the product on dry hair, you're not letting the curl pattern to start film with the product. So what I do is always, water, this is, this is like your magic right here, water, and lust, that's magic. So let's start by wetting my hair. Um, one of the things, oopsie, one of the things that I do, and I'm gonna show you guys, you can, you can twirl your um, finger coil your hair, if you, if you wanna call it that. You can finger coil your hair, okay? Or you can just scrunch, I always scrunch. So what I do, let's see, see how my hair is wet? The difference between this one and this one that's getting already dry. Okay, now, um, I have a few people tell me because they've bought the product. And they're like, well, it doesn't work on me. I tried it and I did what you did and it doesn't work on me. Well, one of the things that you have to also think about and, okay water I usually like to put water also on it one of the things that I tell them is that first of all you have to make sure that you're treating your hair right if you're putting no matter what product you use if you're using product on damaged hair the results are not going to be the same as if your hair was healthy do you see uh, there's different methods of applying it. I rake it through it and then I do the praying hands to make sure that everything is coated. Okay. Now, the thing about this is that you don't have to use a lot. I don't use a lot and because I don't like, um, like to have too much hair product on me because on day two and three and four, usually you will go ahead and put more. All right, let's continue. What, um, one of the things that a lot of people you ask me is like, which comb do you use? It really doesn't matter. It help it whatever it helps your hair, whatever you because everybody has different type of hair. I'm not gonna tell someone to use this or that if they have different type of hair. So I guess it's a personal choice of what you use. Cause I know a lot of people like to um, fluff afterwards, which I'm gonna show you guys also. One of the tricks that I do for f my hair to get the volume that I get is fluffing 
and a lot of people didn't know what fluff was. I didn't know what fluff was in oh, for a long time. So my hair is wet now, you see? It's mainly... Now I do the product. Ugh, my hands are slippery. Slavery. Okay. See, I rake it through first. You want to make sure that you put everything in there, that everything is coated with the product. Because if you don't make sure that every brand is coated, then you'll have probably those strands that are not going to curl as much. Or that if the hair is not wet enough, like I said, it's not going to look the same. I do have always a problem with the back of my head since I can't see. I always have a hard time making sure that everything... I'm sorry. I want to make sure that I show you that I'm... Ugh. So this is the trick. You gotta make sure that your hair is always wet. I know guys, it's really hard to see the screen for the like the questions and stuff. If you guys have any questions that has to do with the product um, ingredients, you can go ahead and email or send a message to the brand, to Lust. I don't work for, brand, for Lust. I actually am a huge fan. I am an ambassador. I love the product. Um, I use it, I would say, probably every day because I love it. So, like, if you guys have any questions that has to do about the ingredients or anything that has to do with the product itself, I suggest you guys call, I mean, you email them because I'm sure they can give you better answers than I do. So, if I miss anything like that, I'm sorry. Um, you can go ahead and send it. They're really good at answering right away. That's one of the things that I love about them is their customer service. So, you know you're going to get an answer for your questions. And anything you guys have, you any questions you guys have about me doing my hair, I'm showing you everything that I do right now. So, hopefully I answer your questions like that because I... Like, I can't see the, the questions are too small from where I'm at for me to be able to do my hair and you can see everything. And you know, you guys can, my handle is going to be down on the screen. Any questions you guys have about anything else, you guys can send me a question on Instagram or here, Facebook, and I'll answer it for you too. So... Um, I was talking earlier about um, when you have damaged hair any product that you use is not going to come out the same and i'm saying it because i've had a few people buy the product lust and they're like well it didn't work out the same for me than it did for you first we have to think about different things we all have different curl patterns we all have different textures um we all have this different density and all of that plays into how your hair is going to come out and not only that if your hair is not healthy, your results are not going to be the same. You're trying to put a band-aid on a problem that needs to be fixed before you can work with the product. That's one thing that I always tell everyone that asks me, how did you get your curls to be so healthy even though you color your hair? I had to chop it all off. I had extremely long hair. I sh I'm going to be posting pictures of my hair before. My hair was really long, and what I did is that I had to cut the hair. I have to cut my hair. Everything that was bad had to go bye-bye because if not, there was no purpose. So what I did is that after my hair was really healthy, that's when I decided, okay, I need to use the right products. And that's when I started taking care of my, um, of my hair. And the difference between 
the pictures of me having colored hair and the difference between me having colored hair now it's the fact that my hair is now healthy and you can see the curls on my hair you see how my hair is really wet that's how you want to make sure your hair is always when you apply the product um, so I like I posted a picture if you go back to my Instagram when we're done you can see that I have a picture of when I had blonde hair and my hair was completely a disaster compared to now and I color my hair obviously red is a I have to color it all the time and it takes um, it fades quickly so it's not like I color my hair every three months every two months I'm constantly col coloring and cutting my hair Every time I go do my hair, I cut, I cut my hair. One of the things that a lot of people say, okay, I'm scared my hair. I want to grow my hair, so that's why I'm not cutting it. Well, if you don't cut your ends, what happens is that your ends are going to get brittle. They're going to break, and it's going to eat up. It's going to eat up on your hair. And your hair, you're thinking you're letting it grow, but you're not. So when you cut the ends, you have healthy ends, your hair grows, but it stays, and it'll grow longer. My hairstylist actually told me, she's like, you, every time you come here, you cut your hair. I was like, my hair grows, and it's because I take care of it. And I cut my hair every two months. All right, so let's see. Now I have all the product in my hair. Let's see. What I'm going to do now... This is, I don't use a regular towel. You have to use a towel that is for curly hair. So let me make sure that you guys can see this. I always dry my hair head down. Um, meaning that I, I'm gonna show you. Give me a second. I'm gonna put it down since I'm gonna um, dry my hair now. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, give me a second, two seconds. There, okay. Now we're talking. Okay, so I always dry my hair like this, head down, because when you dry your hair like that, I know a lot of people do it sideways. I don't do it like that. I get more volume when I dry my hair upside down because by the hair drying like that, when you flip it that is dry, you get more volume just naturally by the way that it dries. So that's just how I do it. Right, let's see. And then I pad. Here, you can see me now. You can see me now. By the way, guys, I'm in Tampa, Florida, and Lust is in Canada. How awesome. How awesome is technology? All right, so I kind of toweled a little bit the excess, and then what I do now is that I, I uh, scrunch my hair. And as you see, you can see already. Now the, the long part is diffusing. Um, I choose to diffuse my hair because it's faster and I make sure that I'm going to show you I have to show you you guys see the settings on this dryer so you do the middle both of them the speed and the heat do not put the blow dryer all the way on high because what you're gonna do and this is one thing I learned by my own hair one thing I do especially for the ones that have longer hair you're always going to be drying here and what's going to happen is that you're going to fry your ends by the time this gets dry this is already toasted don't do that okay so what you do is that you go up like that and you have it on both a medium speed and medium heat why medium speed because if you have it blasting it's going to give you here that halo crown with like the flyaways so you're going to get a lot of frizz so always on medium heat, always on medium speed. For my ladies that have longer hair, I'm gonna show you a tip 
that I do, even though my hair is short, but it helps me dry my my um my crown if it's still wet if this is dry already do not keep on drying your hair because what you're doing you're you're putting more heat on the end than the crown what i do is that i take this the, the diffuser out and i start blowing the air in the crown and make sure that this is not on high so let's start it let's get started um any information like i said if, if you guys want to know any specific information besides the product that I'm using, which is Lus, okay? But you can go ahead and send me a message, and I, I'll have more time to answer, because right now, obviously, the time is limited. I don't want to take away from showing you how I do my curls with Lus. Now, did you notice that I put it, and I leave it there? I don't go... Cause that's just gonna give you frizz. So let's see. Shampoo and conditioner. Love it. Step one. Okay. And the conditioner. Step two. We have the all-in-one leave-in, which is step three. You have wavy, curly, and kinky coily. And you hear it that it's not going fast, it's very slow. This is the longest part of everything. It's actually not applying applying the product, it's actually drying my hair that takes the longest. Because of the fact that the air coming out is not as hot, so it takes longer to dry the hair. Let's see. I can't. I can't see the messages for some reason. I'm trying to... Like I say, guys, if you have any questions regarding the actual... Hold on. Okay, I have a question. What's a towel for curly hair? A towel for curly hair is... Microfiber towel. Like this one. You see it? Or you can use an actual cotton t-shirt. You can use either a cotton t-shirt or you can use, they have them online, just Google it. It's the microfiber tile. It doesn't soak up all the, like the oils and it doesn't dry your hair the way that this one does. Let's see. Yes, Noelle, it is Remington. I figured out the comments. Let's see. Okay, let me go back to the comments on top. Hold on. Make sure that I, I help everyone. Hold on. I have three, um, this is Hannah, she's asking what hair type do you have? I have three B hair. And the thing with my hair, and this is funny because I have really, really curly hair and I have some of them that are wavy and down here is a combination of everything. So it's hard to tell you exactly what pattern I have because I have mixed and that's normal. Some people do have mixed um, different patterns. Weeby, you're going to love it. It says Weeby Wonder. You got your product today. I promise you, you're going to love it. You just have to make sure to be patient when you're applying the product and when you're drying your hair because it really matters a lot. Um, Sarah is asking, if you have wavy hair, could you use the curly formula for more defined curls? Yes, you can try it. Like it happened to me. I used the kinky one, but I had to water it down. You may have to water it down. So it depends. It's, it's, everything is just trials. Try it one time and see how it works. If it doesn't, just either add more water or, you know, it depends. You have to try it, but I'm sure it works because it worked for me. I ordered the kinky one by mistake and obviously it worked because I did it one time and it worked fine. I was out of town and I grabbed the wrong one and I used it and it was perfect. Let's see. Hi Annie. I love you. I have friends.
parents from everywhere. I, you know, the amazing thing about um, Instagram and Facebook is that you meet, and I'm talking actually, example, Lust. The owner, she is a sweetheart. I met her because of the products and the fact that I fell in love with it, and she is amazing. One of the things that you don't see is the owners of this huge brands or even just small brands connecting with their with their um, with their customers, and that's one thing the Sahar does. And and that for that I love her, I really do, because she makes sure that not only um, her people but her customers are taken care of. And I love that about her. Let's see what other questions we have. Okay, let's see. Oh, the diffuser is um, the curly code. What I'll do, guys, I'll do a post on my Facebook. Make sure you follow my Facebook because after the live, I'll I'll do a post with uh, the brand of this and the diffuser and anything else. Any other questions you guys have, I'll just have a Q and A after after the video. I'll have a Q and A for everything that I didn't answer here. And I'll post whatever information you guys want. So make sure you follow my page too. That way I can uh, communicate with you guys and answer your questions. This is the longest part. Jamie or Stova, did you have a question, hon? I, I don't know if I missed it. Like I said, I couldn't see the comments earlier, so I want to make sure I, I help you guys. a lot of things that come into play too um, I'm sorry it didn't work for you but have you looked at the videos of how to apply it and make sure you're applying it correctly to be honest with you the first time I used lust I hated it I was like I'm not using this stuff ever again and then I was like you know what let me take the time let me take the time to read um, the instructions and what I did is that I read the instructions and I was like I did it completely wrong and that's when I was like that's when I realized that it, there's a lot of things, especially how you apply a product, how you handle your hair, the health of your hair too comes into play. So um, send me a personal message. I will help you and hopefully you can change your mind. I'm trying to make sure, let's see who else. See, it takes forever to dry. It is because I don't put peat in my hair. I make sure that... Hold on. This is the longest part. I have a hard time in the back and in drying my hair in the back so I make sure that I flip my hair a lot. I'm trying to see if I can um, 
answer some of your questions too. Look at this. You see? Uh, the hair dryer is Remington and the diffuser is the Curly Co. The diffuser is uh, the Curly Co. Milo? my hair already drying I'm gonna show you guys, you guys what I do because when my hair is dry, you know how when you're drying your hair, it gets stuck to your scalp? How you can separate it from your scalp to give it volume and then how to fluff it also. Cause that's what gives me the most, the big hair that you guys like. Um, Marie, there is, um, if you go to Lust, she's got all kinds of, um, girls. One thing about Lust, and, and I want you guys to understand and learn, is the fact that the people that you see on the videos are customers. These are not paid models or anything like that. They're customers. I'm a customer. And, the, and why I'm doing this is because I love it. I love Lust. I believe in Lust. And the fact that I didn't do it right the first time, and I kind of went away from it, and then after I learned how to use it, I was like, okay. I need to let people know that maybe they're not doing it right.
Uh, the diffuser is the curly curl, Gracie. Um, Jack, I have 3B. 3B and, like I was saying earlier, there's different curl patterns on my hair. Like, my hair at the bottom, down here, there's some curly and straight. I don't know, it's like not as curly and then, then the one that really brings that up. So, it depends. My hair is all, all over the place when it comes to patterns. I have all kinds of patterns in my hair. Ellie Murphy. She's asking, do you have to reapply again tomorrow? I don't. Um, what I do is that I just put a little bit of water. I re-wet my hair and then, and not completely, I just spray with like a sprayer and then I just spray, do the fraying hands again and that's it. And even if you, even if you had to reapply product, it's okay because this will not leave your hair hard or it will not leave your hair um sticky that's a good thing about lust guys if, if i miss any questions because there's so many coming in my handle is there send me a message i will answer every questions that i get about this video i'll also post on my page um, the name of the diffuser, where you can get it, the name of the blow dryer, where you can get it, and any other questions that you guys may have that I missed because there's so many questions coming in right now and I can barely see the, the questions. I don't want to leave everybody with um, unanswered questions at all. And if you also message Lust when it comes to the actual product, they'll reply back and they'll answer your questions regarding the product itself, ingredients, or anything else that you have, any questions that you may have. Um, so if you have natural volume, you're going to love this product anyways. Um, like I do, I flip my hair just to get extra volume and I crunch it. But you don't have to do that. The only thing I do recommend every time, and this is for whatever type of hair you have. When your hair is dry, put your hand like this and shake it. But only do it when your hair is dry. What happens is that... When your hair is wet and there's product in it, it tends to get stuck to your to your roots and to your scalp, and it doesn't give you the the natural volume that your hair will have or will give. Which I'm gonna do once my hair is dry. I'll show you guys the difference. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stand here without doing anything to it, so you can see how my hair looks without fluffing and without separating it from the scalp. Courtney, trust me, I, I understand when you're saying you don't have the patience. Um, that's why a lot of people choose to air dry. And you can do that too. Air drying for me is not an option. I have a lot, a lot of hair. And I leave my house early in the morning. If I leave my house with my hair wet, at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, my, my hair, like the crown is still wet. And I don't like that because then the hair itself doesn't dry right. Guys, Vanessa Del... Uh, I'm gonna say... I'm probably gonna kill your last name. Vanessa Delanoy? Delaney? You know you know who I'm talking about, girl. You. Um, you guys can ask her any questions too. She's an expert in lust. That's all she uses. She only uses lust. And she's on Instagram also. So if you guys have any questions, like right now, on the chat, you can also ask her. She'll answer it too. She's great. Sally DeLeon is asking what setting is my blow dryer on. The setting is in the middle. The mid speed and the mid heat. So it's not too high. And that's why it's taking so long. It's because I don't put it in like blasting. 
I don't want to burn my hair. Let me see, I put some product in, in spray bottle for reapplication the next day and it's been working. That is a good suggestion too. Um, Valerie Huerta, she suggested that you put some of the actual Lust product in the water bottle when you're spraying it to refresh. That's a good suggestion too. I like to dry my hair upside down. That gives me more natural volume. It's, it just helps me. Liz, um, no, I do use heat, but it's in medium heat. It's not like the high heat or the speed. It's on medium both. Contact um, Ivana. Gomez, contact Lust. I'm sure, I don't know how um, it works, but I'm sure they have, I, I they do have sample sizes. So if you don't want to get the whole bottle, they do have sample sizes. my hair <laughs> that is the question of the year um, I actually wash my hair once a week I do this once a week and and this is where this is where loving lust and my love for lust also started is the fact that my hair even though on day four or five is still it's still not sticky. And no matter what, I can comb my fingers through my hair with lust and still be able to do that. Some products, you can't. You, as soon as you do this, you're like, you can't. It, I don't like that. Thank you, Dolly. Weeby, you ordered a mini kit. Ah, that is awesome. Linda Powers, um, Lust is, love your curls. It's a brand, here you go. It's a, a brand that has the shampoo conditioner and the all-in-one, meaning you don't have to use um, leave-in conditioner, styler, and then oil. Everything is here. All this is all you need to do your hair. When I so you see my hair is drying already? Look at this. And the bounce. Bounce. See, down here it takes forever to dry.
Let's see. Nori, um, send me a message. I want to see, I want you to tell me how you used it and how you applied it and how you dried your hair because a lot of the times that depends a lot on the results. If you want to send me a message or send uh, Lus a message, they can direct you to like um, tutorials on how to use the product to make sure that you're doing it right too. Uh, let's see. I had a lot of breakage from flat iron in my hair. My hair seems to be stronger since using Lus. Yes! I believe because of the shea butter and moringa oil, it seems my hair is just as much healthy. Yes! It is, definitely. I'm glad. I, I love seeing that I'm not the only one happy with Lus. And like I said, guys, I am just a customer. I This is the first time that I ever take over a brand. It, the live feed of a brand is the first time. I've never done it like that before. But I wanted to share because obviously we all love Lus. I love Lus. I'm not an employee of Lus. I'm not getting paid by for doing this live. I just want to do it because I love Sahar. She's the owner. She's been so good to me when it comes to showing me how to use it. And just always, you know, supporting me whenever I had any questions. Anybody, anybody that knows Sahar, the owner, knows that she's an angel. I love her. Thank you, Coral. Coral Rosado. Thank you, honey. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but a lot of people say, I don't like big hair. I love big hair. And sometimes you have to sacrifice um, length for volume. A lot of people ask me what type of haircut do I have? What type of haircut? I don't have any specific haircut or like any other haircut from any other company. I don't. Uh, what I do is that I tell the hair dryer, the hairstylist, my hairstylist, I want a lot of layers. I want a lot of layers. So what happens is that when you do a lot of layers, shorter layers, you get this. You get this right here, which is a lot more volume than having longer layers. Look at my hair! I'm excited. Are you guys excited? <laughs> um, no, la gitana. No, I don't. I didn't get a. Is that my friend? Um, I didn't get a special haircut. Like I said, it's just a lot of layers. I have layers in the in the front. I have layers in the back. So when it dries, it's everywhere. Have you guys seen um, Thera Fawcett? When you guys um, get off the the hear the live, Google Thera Fawcett so you can see how her hair is cut. It comes in cascades, in the back and in the front, and that's what I have. Wandi, Wandi Alice, no, it doesn't go with the dryer. I bought them separate. Um, when I get up, when this live feed is over, I'm gonna post on my Facebook, so make sure you follow me on my Facebook. I believe my um, handle is down there. I will tell you guys where to get it. They're they're very cheap. They're not expensive. But I bought them separate. 
Do you leave your hair loose while you sleep? Amy Arlene is asking, do you leave your hair loose while you sleep? I do. I don't pineapple, but I do have a satin pillowcase. Because, first of all, my hair is too short. I can't do the pineapple. I know it helps a lot of people, but it doesn't help me. But I do have a satin pineapple, which avoids the whole frizzy hair and getting your hair knotted, or even, because if you sleep on a regular um, pillowcase, what it does, the material will soak up your natural oils. The satin pillowcase doesn't do that. Yes, Courtney. Courtney was asking if that's me in the picture in the back. <laughs> that is me. My husband had that done for me by a local artist. Um, he's amazing. Kate Hudson, but redhead girl. <laughs> Fabiola said, I remind her of Kate Hudson. She's pretty. Thank you. Thank you, Roberta. Thank you, Vero. Vero Compton says, hair so cute. Thank you. Okay, I want to show you something. My hair is not completely dry 100%, but I want to show you something. What I do, because I like to do it I want to wait until my hair is like a little bit drier and then you know, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, but even though my hair is not completely dry now, even though my hair is not completely dry right now, I do this. Put your hand in the root and just separate it. You're not pulling it out, you're just separating it from the scalp. You see? Okay, so now once it's separated from the scalp, I continue to blow dry. Until it's completely 100% dry. What it does is it separates the, the hair. Because sometimes, have you ever, especially when you air dry, I notice that. When you air dry, your hair dry is stuck to your scalp and, you, and some of the hair doesn't even curl on the top it's because it's stuck to the scalp with the product. So doing that will separate it from the scalp and let the hair loosely um, dry up. Look at this. And the thing is that it's not, look at this, it's not, it's not hard hair. I love it. You can see the bounce in it. Hi, Amy. Um, Amy's asking if I, if when I reapply, depends. It says if, um, do you reapply, do you air dry or diffuse again? It depends. If. If I'm in a hurry, I'll let it air dry. If not, I diffuse. I get the results anyways. Let's see. Petunia, thank you. She loves um, Lush. She says Bran is her favorite. I mean, Lust is her favorite. Where did you? The diffuser I bought online. It's called the Curly Co. Um, when I'm finished here, what I'll do is that it, make sure you follow me on my Facebook page or my Instagram. But follow my Facebook page because 
I am going to post all the information on the blow dryer and the diffuser. Everything that I used today, which is the, the step three, one and two, which is the conditioner and the shampoo and the diffuser and the blow dryer. There you go. There's the, the, the link to purchase Lust Brands. Okay, Vanessa, I only wash my hair once a week. Uh, Vanessa Blumkiss, she's asking, is there anyone that works out frequently that uses this? Oh, you mean like workout? Like go to the gym and work out? See, I don't go often, but if you put your hair up, and what I, do, what I um, would do, I'm not saying I do it because I don't go that often, is that when you get home, let it air dry first, and then try to reapply uh, your hair. Like try to wet it a little bit and then apply a little bit of product but don't don't do it when your hair is still wet just let your hair dry the sweat and then reapply it but side that the product that i use is this only this plus to style to wash and condition is the same brand. So you have step one, step two, and step three. Okay. All right, my hair is dry. Gracie says my uh, lust have made me love my curls again. It did me too. It's amazing. The fact that you can just have one bottle and get the results that you want. Look at my hair. And get the results that you want. And not have to pile on one, two, three different products. I know a lot of uh, curly girls like doing the cocktail, like doing more than one. I'm very, I, have, I don't have time, first of all. Because in the morning, I'm just washing my hair and door drying and going. And having to use one, it's, to me, it's just simple. Okay, remember when I told you guys when we started about taking this off? Once my hair is dry, I love to take it off and just go in to make sure that, the, that my roots are dry. And because it's not on high, it's just on medium, it won't give you frizz. It's just making sure that you're drying the rest of your hair inside. Sometimes there's little hairs that are still wet. For my girls that have longer hair, this is what I suggest you do. So you don't fry your ends. I'm separating it from the scalp. You see what I'm doing? I'm not missing the curl pattern. Okay, so my hair is dry. You see? What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna fluff. See my hair is wet now? Okay, you can use different things. Um, you can use a pick, that's me, or this. You can use either one. This works the same way. What I do is that when you're picking your hair, this is very important. When you're picking your hair, you have to make sure that you don't pull it out. You just pick at the root. You go in the root, let me show you, like that. And that's it but I do it fast. Look at the difference. You see? You just pick at the root and pull it up. The root, not the whole hair. 
you can also do it with a pick. The pick is actually easier because it goes in. You see how it goes in? No, um, Yvette Noelia is asking if I have gel on. The only thing I have on is plus, is this product, which is, can you see it? That's the only thing I have on. I didn't put nothing else. And look at my hair. So this is, and you can see it's, t I wish you guys can touch my hair because with other products, I just, even touching it, you can feel the, like the film covering the hair. With this, you don't, I can pull my hair back and still have my hair, like when I pull it down, it'll be like this. Do you guys like it? Because I love it. Let's see. I need to add a few layers to mine. My hair is a lot like yours. Brittany says she needs to add layers. Yes. I have a lot of layers, a lot, and they're short, like they're right one after the other. They're not separated too much because that's what gives me this volume and this kind of shape. Um, let's see. The curls, Kayla's asking if the curls look the same in the morning. Obviously not because you're tossing and turning, but it doesn't look crazy. All I do is just spray a little bit of water and just put... If I need to, not all the times I do, I put more lust. Usually like on day three or four, I do put more, but it's not necessary. It takes me, let's see, Heather is asking how long it takes me to diffuse my hair. It takes me a good 30 minutes, 30 minutes to diffuse my hair, only because I have a lot of hair. You can see. Guys, if I didn't answer a question for you, please um, either message Luz or message me. My handle is down there. You can add me on Facebook. Um, I'll do a post after this video to um, answer any of the questions that I see or just to give you the information about which product that I use, which one of the three steps. Um, this is just water, so I'm gonna put that too. Which pick I use to hair dry? Any of those questions, I'll put it down on my um, my page on a post. Uh, let's see if I have any other questions at the last minute now before we go. Uh, what do I use to refresh my curls? Water and this. This is all you need. The same thing to do your hair. This is what you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need a pick. I love picking my hair. But as you see, this product is so amazing that even me, after picking my hair and messing with it, you don't have that freezy hair. Yes! I love doing this. I think I'm going to do it more. I don't know if Sahara's going to want me back, but I, I hope she does. Oh, I love you, Sahara. She's the owner of Lus. Okay, so let's see. I think we are at the end now, guys. So like I said, just to recap what I used today, I washed my hair with step one. Hold on, here we go. There. Step one, which is the shampoo. Um, step two, the conditioner. And step three for curly. You have the wavy, the curly, and the kinky coily. Um, I've had people ask me, can you use the kinky coily on curly? Yes, you can because I've used it. You just have to probably water it down. Can you use the curly on wavy? Yes, you can. You probably have to water it down. So I guess it's just trying it. So guys, I hope I answered all your question. If I didn't, again, like I said, follow me and ask me and I'll answer as much as I can everything. And if anything, you have any questions about the product itself, about their shipping, anything that has to do with the actual product itself, Lus will answer your questions. So I hope you like it like I do. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Follow Lus, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. We both have the same handle. So I love you guys. Thank you for showing up. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time.
Bye, guys. Thank you.